Oh, how's it going there? I'm George. I'm Hydrangea, but you can call me Heidi. So uh, how are you doing today? Not so well. Two of my friends just died. Oh no, what happened? My friend Dinosaur was murdered by some punk plants. No way! How did that happen? Well... Time to send our kid off into the world. Alright, bye son, don't kill anybody. Oh look, it's a seed. It's just in its dormant stage. Oh my god! Oh, I know exactly what happened. You see, I'm actually a doctor monkey. You see, he was lacking abscisic acid. When the seed is maturing, the levels of abscisic acid, or ABA, may increase 100 fold, which inhibits germination and induces the production of certain proteins that help the seeds withstand extreme dehydration while maturing. Various factors, such as water, light, or temperature, triggers ABA to inactivate and then allows dormant seeds to germinate. Often the ratio of ABA to gebermelins determines whether the seed remains dormant or not. You sound kind of curious on this, George. I've heard of that before. In preparation for winter, ABA is produced in terminal buds, and ABA slows plant growth and directs leaf primordia to develop scales to protect the dormant seeds during the cold season. That's correct, Heidi. Also, ABA inhibits the cell division in the vascular cambium adjusting to cold conditions in the winter by suspending primary and secondary growth. ABA is also produced in the roots in response to a decrease in soil water potential. ABA is also released due to environmental stresses such as overexposure to light. ABA causes stomata to close, which is not what happened to my second friend. Yeah, I'm Treebeard, just kind of chilling around. It's a nice night. Oh, hi, Mr. Moon. Oh, hi, Mr. Treebeard. Don't get burned up by the sun. Close your stomata. I'll try. Uh-oh, my stomata aren't closing. Oh, my God, here's the sun. Ah, it's so hot. Ah! Wow, that was quite the story. But not closing your stomata is no laughing matter. Thousands of plants die every year because of it. On a similar note, as for drought tolerance, ABA begins to accumulate in leaves and causes stomata to close rapidly when the plant begins to wilt. By affecting second messengers such as calcium, ABA causes potassium channels in the plasma membrane of guard cells to open and leads to a massive loss of potassium ions. With this change in concentration, osmosis occurs and reduces guard cell turgor, which leads to closing of the stomata. By closing the stomata, this reduces transpiration and prevents further water loss. Wow, that makes a lot of sense since ABA is a 15 carbon chain which is partially produced via the mevalonic pathway in chloroplasts and other plastids. Activation of the molecule can occur by two methods. In the first method, an ABA glucose ester can form by attachment of glucose to ABA. In the second method, oxidation of ABA can occur to form phasic acid and dihydrophasic acid. Wow, that's a good point, Heidi. You know, in my recent studies of ABA, it has shown illicit, potent anti-inflammatory and anti-diabetic effects in mouse models of diabetes, obesity, inflammatory bowel diseases, atherosclerosis, and influenza infections. Now I see why abscisic acid is so important compared to those gibberellins. And remember, kids, take your hormones daily. Yay! Yay.